Hello everyone and welcome back to MOVE! It is day 26 and today we pour in, layer on, fill her up with love. Hop into something comfy and let's get started. we have begun. Come into a nice comfortable seat. Sit up nice and tall and right away. Inhale, lots of love in. Deep breath and exhale, lots of love out. Relax your shoulders. Start to get settled in here. Inhale, lots of love in. And long exhale, lots of love. Now keep breathing deep here. You can close your eyes, seeing if you can elongate the inhale, so make it longer, smoother, slower. And same thing with the exhale. More awareness, lengthening the exhalation to be long and slow. You get the picture. All right, listen to the sound of your breath. Just start to tune in with how you're feeling today. We've landed, we're here, and by golly, we are lovable, even if we don't always feel it. Slowly consider how you do this next movement, how you move matters, it influences how you feel as you engage in life. So slowly, mindfully, bring the palms together and then we'll start to just create a little movement with the palms. Find what feels good even here, whatever that means to you. After yesterday's practice, hopefully we have a little, little extra space or a little new space available to fill our cup with these daily moves and with our relationship to our breath. Allow this movement to get a little bit faster now as you continue to breathe deep. Create some heat, some fire, and then release hands to your heart. Feel the warmth of your hands on your heart space. Close your eyes, drop your chin to your chest. Inhale, lots of love in. And exhale, lots of love out, way to show up for practice. Go ahead and come forward onto all fours. Take that inhale in and that exhale out again. Keep that loving breath going, inhaling lots of love in, exhaling lots of love out as you start to warm up through the spine. You do know what to do here, so find a little spinal flexion, inhaling. Think about the expansion, exhale, think about the contraction. using these tools to check in and to build a practice of loving yourself each day. Good, come to a nice neutral spine. Curl the toes under, soft bend in the elbows here. Inhale in as you exhale, lift the knees and let them hover. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Notice how you're getting stronger. You are. Yeah, you are. And then lower the knees down. Bring the big toes to touch. Walk the knees wide as the yoga mat. Drop the belly. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, melt it back. Child's pose. Reach the fingertips towards the front edge of the mat. Really, really reach. Feel that stretch in the outer shoulder, <clears throat> the ribs, the waist. Melt your heart and your head down. Inhale, lots of love in. And exhale, lots of love out. Inhale to rise up. Left hand stays on the mat as we inhale, reach the right fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle, releasing tension in the upper back body. Stimulating this heart chakra, stimulating <clears throat> the energy that runs up and down the spine. Moving it around, come back up. Let's switch right hand down. Inhale, left fingertips up high. Exhale, 
twist. We're leaving any tension in the upper back body. Breathe into your belly. And again, encouraging a healthy flow of energy from crown to tail. That's love, baby. Okay, come on back to center. Walk the knees underneath the hips, scroll the toes under. Send the hips up high and back, downward facing dog. Find what feels good here. Listen to your body and let your subtle movements be a response to that listening. That is yoga. Good, draw your chin to your chest, draw your navel up slowly, roll it forward into plank, you got this. Inhale, squeeze the right knee up and in, squeeze and lift, exhale, send it back. Inhale, squeeze the left knee up and in, claw through the fingertips, good, send it back. Back and forth now here with the sound of your breath. And then release, lower to your belly. Fingertips can come off the mat or palms underneath the shoulders, your choice. Squeeze the elbows together if the palms are underneath the shoulders. Inhale, cobra. Rising with the inhale, falling with the exhale. Good, palms come back underneath the shoulders, curl the toes under, inhale in. Exhale, power up, plank pose, nice and strong. Downward facing dog, nice and easy, good. Bend the knees here generously. Peel the hip creases up towards the sky and try to melt your belly toward the tops of your thighs as you claw into the fingertips. Lovely, then slowly straighten the legs, drop the heels, they don't have to touch the ground. Just nice and heavy through the heels. Beautiful, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, bring it through. Today we're gonna bring the right hand over to meet the left. We've been here before, lizard lower the back knee. Keep it nice and tall here to start just warming up, breathing deep. Shoulders relaxed. If you wanna lift the back knee, you can, but otherwise keep it nice and low. Good, then we'll frame the right foot, bring the right foot back, lift the back knee, step the right toes back, lower to the belly. Follow the breath, inhale, we rise, cobra. Exhale, we fall, release. Inhale in here to curl the toes under, prepare. Exhale, power up to plank. Doming through the upper back body, really reaching the heels back. Good, downward facing dog. Bend the knees generously. Belly comes toward the tops of the thighs. Find this nice rock in the pelvis as you send your tail up. Melt the heart towards your knees. Good, then drop the heels, let them get heavy. Inhale, lift the left leg up high. Three-legged dog, exhale, step it forward. Left hand comes over to meet the right. We lower the right knee down. Inhale, open up through the chest. Breathe, exhale. Nice and easy, whoo, waking up the body with our daily moves. Bring the left hand Back around to frame the right. Here we go, lifting the right leg, right knee, stepping the left toes back, plank pose, deep breath in. Exhale to lower. Inhale to rise up, open your heart. Exhale to lower. Nice, curl the toes under, inhale to prepare. Exhale, strong plank. Engage the muscles of the front body, reach the heels back. Send the shoulder blades left to right. Again, you should feel like a doming sensation in the upper back body. Good, downward facing dog. Lovely, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, shift it forward, bend your right knee, squeeze and lift it to center. Good, then step it up. You're right here for your twist. You're gonna take your right fingertips all the way up towards the sky. Good, now turn your right toes out just a bit. Nice and easy, you're gonna turn onto the outer edge of your left foot for a little horizon posture. Right fingertips reach towards the back of the mat as you lower the hips down. Good, inhale, back up, slowly come through and back to your lunge. Beautiful, plant the palms, step the right toes back. You can take it straight to downward dog here or take a little vinyasa following the breath. We'll meet in downward dog. And when you're ready, inhale, lift the left leg up high. Exhale, bend the left knee, squeeze it in as you shift forward. 
Good, then step it all the way up. We're right here for the twist. Right hand comes to the earth. Inhale, left fingertips to the sky. Now turn the left toes out nice and slow here. Stay connected to your center for stability. You're gonna turn onto the outer edge of your right heel. Drop the hips as you lower the left fingertips down to the horizon. Good, then from center, from your core, lift it back up nice and slow. Draw a line up and over, back to frame the left foot. You did it, beautiful. Plant the palms, step the left toes back, straight to downward dog or a little vinyasa. If you didn't get that little horizon pose, we'll be doing it again. Just stay in the process, follow your breath. We'll meet in downward facing dog. From down dog, inhale, bend your knees. Exhale to make your way to the top of the mat. Find something new here as you inhale, halfway lift your version. I'm doing airplane arms today. And exhale to soften and fold everything. Bend your knees generously, protect the low back. Strong legs here as you spread the fingertips. Inhale, rise up strong. Big breath as you reach up towards the sky. And then exhale, hands to heart. Relax your shoulders down. Just take a second here to observe your breath. Notice where you might be clenching or holding in the toes, somewhere around the neck, or maybe the forehead. Now bend your knees. Let's check it out. We're gonna bend the knees kind of in a chair pose. Send the left fingertips back. Inhale, right fingertips forward. Then slowly come back to center, hands at the heart, straighten the legs, and then take it to the right. Bend the knees. Good, inhale, squeeze and lift as you stand up. Exhale, bend, send your gaze back. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, right fingertips back, send your gaze back. Good, inhale, squeeze and lift, ground through the heels. Exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, center. Last time. Exhale, draw your navel in. Sink low. Inhale, center. And exhale. Good. Keep the knees bent. Send the fingertips forward. Hips back. Utkatasana. Navel draws in and up. Neck is nice and long. Inhale in here. Exhale, send the fingertips back. Airplane arms, option to lift the heels here and hover in a little hummingbird. Draw your shoulder blades together. That's just an option. You can keep the heels nice and lower. Great. If the heels are lifted, go ahead and lower them. Everyone, stand up nice and tall, root to rise here. Inhale, reach for the sky. And then exhale, wiggle the fingertips. Let it all go as you come into a forward fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift, find something new. Long neck, exhale, soften and bow. Step one foot back, then the other plank pose. You can go straight to downward dog here or take a vinyasa. So you're starting to choose your own adventure a little more here. We'll meet in downward facing dog. And when you're ready, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, bend the right knee, squeeze and lift. So find that core connection before you step the right foot all the way up. Good, now from here, inhale, reach right fingertips up towards the sky, then turn your right toes out, left hands here to hold you. Press away from the yoga mat as you come to be on the outer edge of your left foot. Good, then continue the journey, drop the hips, right fingertips reach towards the back edge of your mat. We're not soft in the belly, we're connected. Good, then use that core connection to lift you all the way back up, right fingertips reach up and around and down. Great, this time step the back foot up to meet the front, peel the right hip crease back, just a little pyramid moment, inhale in, and then exhale, bend both knees, come back to your nice low lunge. Step the right foot back, go straight to downward facing dog, or take a little vinyasa if you're wanting a little more movement. We'll meet in downward dog. Take your time, follow your breath. When you're ready, inhale, lift the right leg up high. Exhale, bend that left knee, squeeze and lift. Strong core connection, then step it up from there. Right hand is on the earth, inhale, left fingertips up towards the sky. Twist, breathe. Turn the left toes out. Use your right hand here. You can walk it out a little bit if it's helpful. We're gonna slowly 
full body experience on this one. Recruit those core muscles as you drop the hips, come onto the outer edge of the right foot, left fingertips reach in line with the shoulder. Nice and active in the toes. This side will be different than the other side, perhaps dramatically. And then here we go, recruit those muscles of the core to lift up. Fingertips reach up and over and back down to the mat. Last call for vinyasa, take it or leave it. So step the left foot back and you can move through a little flow here or take it straight to downward facing dog. That is where we'll meet. And when you get there, inhale lots of love in and exhale lots of love out. Notice how you feel. <sighs> Give the thinking mind a break here as you pay attention to your breath. Great, so you have two options next here. We're gonna lower to the elbows here for a dolphin pose. If you're like, mm, not for me today, we're gonna come to puppy. So puppy will look like the knees coming to the ground and then us walking, walking the knees back. So we have this melting of the heart. In dolphin, we're essentially creating a similar shape in the spine, but with the knees lifted, core engaged, pressing away from the yoga mat. So a little more strength building here. And then puppies just a little more surrender. Both are valuable as of course our journey has taught us already. So just choose what move is right for you today. Breathe. And then if your knees are lifted, go ahead and slowly lower them. And let's all come up to all fours and swing the legs to one side, any side, and come through to a seat. Hug the right knee up in towards your body. Hug the left elbow on the right knee, or you can take the outer edge of the right, excuse me, left elbow to the right thigh, your choice. Finding a twist here, inhaling to lengthen. And exhaling to twist. Slowly release, switch, hug the left knee, sit up nice and tall. Inhale to lengthen and exhale to twist. And slowly release, bring the soles of the feet together, sit up nice and tall. Grab the ankles, soft, easy movement in the head or neck if you like. And then when you're ready, send your heart forward, elbows back. And then melting the weight of the head down. You can interlace the fingertips around the toes, send the elbows left to right if that feels better. Find what feels good. You know what? This is a love practice, might as well. Actually bring your thumbs to your feet you can wash your feet after, I mean, well, you can wash your feet after. You can wash your hands after class if you like, but, but give yourself a little foot massage here. The ultimate gesture of love for many, not for all. And just notice how this feels and, and kind of what this can represent. You know, we're always looking for other people to kind of fulfill that love cup, but really we know deep down that it starts with us loving ourselves and being able to advocate for what we need and listen and respond in a loving, kind manner. Okay, release that. Bring the hands behind you nice and easy, just rocking the knees one to one side, <clears throat> one way and then the other. And just continue this windshield wiper movement and you might actually get a little glute massage, a little sacrum massage. I tell you, yoga is amazing. And then extend the legs out long, sit up nice and tall and slowly roll down. Relax the weight of your body completely and fully into the earth. Inhale, deep breath, lots of love in. 
and empty it out as you close your eyes and relax. Soften through the fingers and toes. Relax your tongue and your mouth. Surrender here for a moment. Way to give yourself some love today. Just take a beat to just be here, blanketing yourself in your own love. Mm. What a precious concept and how beautiful is it that we are showing up here together to practice, practice loving ourselves. Take one more deep breath in. Maybe you stay here a little longer today after the practice closes. If you have a couple more minutes, maybe up to 15 and you give yourself time to just bask in this love. If you've got a scoot, I understand. Bring the palms together, thumbs up to third eye. I love you so much. Thank you for sharing this practice with me today. I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Don't miss it. Inhale in and exhale to close for today. Namaste.